back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamie Martin Co. and I am back. What's up? What's up? What's good? What's good? So recently, I had a very, very fun trip. I went all the way to Japan and I thought a really fun video would be um, to do a Japan haul. I did get a bunch of stuff uh, while I was visiting Japan. I wanted to just kind of like share what I bought. So for anybody who is thinking about going to Japan or visiting Japan, I highly recommend it. Um, I definitely, definitely bought a bunch of anime stuff and you'll see in the video, I'm such an otaku. Um, I've always like growing up, like since elementary school, I've always watched anime uh, with Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Cardcaptor Sakura. It's always been something that has been in my childhood. And then growing up to, you know, watching Naruto um, and to now being a huge Demon Slayer fan and My Hero Academia fan, um, you know, it's come full circle. So yeah, when I was in Japan, you know, we visited three main locations. We visited Tokyo. <laughs> Kyoto. Itadakimasu. <laughs> and Nara. So when we came to Japan, we stayed within the Shibuya district and I freaking love Shibuya. You know, there's a lot of things to do in Shibuya. It's kind of like the New York City of Tokyo. And you know, there's the famous Shibuya Crossing. And there's a bunch of like May cafes and shopping areas and you know the harajuku street if for those who don't know harajuku street is like the main fashion you know street that's very popular within tokyo and it's only a i believe a 30 minute train ride from shibuya so i am a broke bitch i didn't buy you know too much stuff but you know shopping in harajuku was one of my favorite experiences uh they have a lot of great deals and i got this really cute shirt really like the shirt as you can see it's very bright um really baggy that's kind of like the style um within japan Japan right now and you can see in a lot of like Asian style especially within Korea China Japan as you can see you can also wear this look tucked in it looks really cute um, in my opinion and I like it with like with the sweats and stuff I thought this shirt was really cute I hope you guys think it's really cute too hopefully you like my style I don't know but I really wanted to purchase that shirt like when I saw it in Harajuku I was like oh my god it totally speaks like Tokyo Japan like very bold colors bold look and that's something that I was definitely looking for when I was shopping within that Harajuku district. Y'all, so I bought these pants also in the same shop in Harajuku. I actually really love these pants paired with the yellow shirt that I showed y'all previously. So as y'all can see, I'm just really having fun with the look and like the pants. I'm really having fun with the clash of the colors, you know, the red and yellow. And, and I really just love the combo of these two because I just feel like they resonate a lot. Um, you know, the pants, you know, very cute, very comfortable, twerkable. <laughs> so I really enjoyed, you know, buying uh, these pair of pants. So, you know, while in Tokyo, we also went sightseeing and we went to a bunch of different places. And one of the places that we went to was the Skytree Tower. And so the Skytree Tower is one of, you know, the landmarks that's very famous within Tokyo. We get to kind of like go up this very, very tall and huge tower. Um, I don't even know how many feet, you know, it, it is to just go up there, but you get to ride this elevator and get to go to the very top. Um, and what's cool about the Skytree Tower is that they actually have a Pokemon Center there. I'm a huge Pokemon fanatic. like it, I like obsessed with Pokemon. And so obviously I had to buy Pokemon stuff from the Pokemon Center. I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. I choose you, Mudkip. This little cutie what is my little Mudkip. We're like twins. When I used to play Pokemon Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald, bitch, because I was an OG and played all of them, I 90% of the time chose Mudkip. I just had to buy this cutie and it just like was, you know, like a relic for me. Just, it, it's something that, you know, when I saw it, I had to, like, I choose you, you know? I also bought a bunch of gifts. Um, and so one of them is this cute Pikachu keychain. I actually bought this for my really close friend who lives in Seattle, Flawless Kevin. Um, I know Kevin loves Pokemon and anime and stuff. And so I thought I'm gonna get him like this cute Pikachu that he can just like carry around um, and everything like that. And so this is like a cute gift that I wanna give to my friend. 
The last thing I bought was actually this really cute sticker. So I actually already opened the sticker. Y'all, I love to design my laptop. And so it's kind of like, you know, getting up there. And so this was the cute sticker that I bought. If you can see the camera, it's it just one of my favorite, like, Pokemon types and so I, I had to get the sticker I thought it was like really cute that's pretty much all I bought in the Pokemon Center because I was not trying to spend too much bread uh while you know like one day in Tokyo already like I'm already buying like all this stuff and so I have to like save my money the next district that we went to in Tokyo is another like famous popular district it's called Akihabara um also known as Anime Mecca or the Electric City uh yeah Akihabara was like a dream come true for me it's basically like an otaku paradise it's a bunch of like anime and video games and uh, you know all this nostalgia just like packed in one and it just like i had so much fun in akihabara i think it was like one of my favorite spots in tokyo while in akihabara i had to definitely snatch me up an anime lucky bag and so you know it's unopened i'm actually ready to like unbox it for you guys like i feel like this should be a whole video by itself but yeah so for those who don't know what an anime lucky bag is it's basically just one of these like traditions that they have um in akihabara where basically you know you buy this like souvenir lucky bag and you don't know what's inside but so it's just like a surprise you spend um i spent five thousand yen which is roughly about i think like fifty dollars us dollars there is definitely a, one figure of My Hero Academia, you know, I already told you I love that anime, um, is warranted. A few goods of the title are also included. It does not mean that the exact same character goods will be included. And so, like, I don't know what is going to be in this bag. And that's like the surprise and that's what makes it like a lucky bag. It's a very cute experience. You get to buy this lucky bag and um, just kind of like surprise yourself with whatever is inside um, and I think it's a really great deal for only like 5,000 yen you kind of get a bunch of different like souvenir and anime stuff and I uh, had to grab one and so let's unbox all right oh, oh my oh bitch yo my god Y'all, it's a Todoroki figurine. So if y'all don't know who Todoroki is from My Hero Academia, get into it, honey. The Todoroki is a OG boss. <laughs> y'all, and that, that's the gag because I literally, I'm gonna show y'all later, I bought two other figurines I bought a Deku figurine and a literal Bakugo figurine, and the fact that my lucky bag is to it's I got the I got the big three in my opinion. <laughs> Fan girl. Like, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So that's the first one. This is the next. What is this? <gasps> Another Todoroki. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a mini like Todoroki. Oh my god. Next. What is this? What is? <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes! Okay, T. Is this the red, right? I forgot which character this was, but... Oh, I love this character. Okay, like, literally, if y'all are caught up to, like, season three or four, I believe, this dude is, like, amazing. Like, his fight with Fat Gum was... Like, I, already, I see the potential for this guy. I think he's either the Red Riot or the Crimson Riot. I'm not entirely sure. Don't drag me in the comments because he's not like one of my favorite favorites. But I just know after that fight scene with Fat Gum, like this dude knocks it out the park. So I'm actually very glad that I got a figure read. Like, wow, like this is all my Hero Academia. And like, I'm so happy. So yay. That lucky bag was actually very lucky because I also bought two more figurines while in Akihabara. Um, I bought my Hero Academia, um, a Deku model. And I bought a Bakugo. I am huge, huge Bakugo and Deku fan. I love them. They're kind of like the Naruto and Sasuke in my heart, even though they're like nothing like them. Um, I don't know. They're, I just like the fact that now I have a Bakugo, Deku, and now a Todoroki. Like it, it. Wow, I did that. Like love. Hey y'all, so here is just a video of the figurines unboxed. As y'all can see, they look badass and it just looks really cool. So I wanted to give a quick glimpse of what it looks like out of the box.
Another anime that I'm totally in love with right now, and most of you probably know, is Demon Slayer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Demon Slayer is so good. So if you're not hip to Demon Slayer, get hip right now. Get hip, like period. Um, one of my favorite characters is Zenitsu. <laughs> and Zenitsu, again, like I really just love, like, ah, dude, Zenitsu is just this like very like cute, like quiet character, but he has a badass like power, you know, his thunder breathing, clapping, like, mm, he kills the demons. He kills them demon drones and like, it's just so cool how he does his power. And so I actually bought this sick shirt um, in Akihabara. This is what it looks like. Uh, if you actually follow me on Instagram, I wore the shirt. Um, I wore it while in Akihabara. I thought it was just like the best thing to wear, you know, while in the anime mecca to wear an anime inspired shirt. And not only just an anime inspired shirt, but to wear Zenitsu because, you know, Zenitsu is like electric, has electric powers, you know, with his thunderclap breathing um, technique. And Akihabara is known as the electric city. And I thought the two would pair really well together. All right, y'all, that's basically it. That's all I bought in Tokyo. And it was a lot of bread and money and a great time and totally worth it. So most of the stuff, you know, while I was in Japan, I was really paying for, you know, the food and the experience. I wasn't really trying to buy too much like tangible stuff. Um, but, you know, I thought, you know, I got a lot from this haul that I wanted to share with y'all. And for those who are interested in traveling to Japan, um, specifically Tokyo, um, I hope that this video made y'all more willing to go especially to you anime lovers um i definitely recommend akihabara um and you know this was just a small portion you know it was really just shibuya and akihabara that i bought stuff in um imagine like going to the other cities um definitely going to like shinjuku um, ikebukuro and all the other places um i just truly recommend going to tokyo and it's just a fun experience for sure Thank you all for watching my YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment. What was your favorite thing from the haul video? If you've been to Japan, you know, leave a comment below. Uh, tell us what you recommend and what items you bought uh, while you were in Japan visiting. Thank you all again for watching my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And you know, peace, love, and happiness. Mwah. Deuces, y'all.